Now let's get into some real talk. It's time for story time, everyone. Why don't we just dive right on in? Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Sam. Hey Sam. Hi guys. How's it going? Great to get yourself. I'm doing good. So uh, I thought I'd bring Sam onto the channel since he is a history teacher. Well, we don't want people to know that, you know, because uh, it might be a bit <laughs> embarrassing for me, but we'll see. All right. He is not a history teacher. <laughs> and uh, But what I thought we would do is just test out our historical knowledge. Um, these are some Sporkle quizzes and... Uh, We'll just see how well we do. Mm -hmm. uh, what we'll do is we'll just kind mm -hmm. of work together to answer the quizzes as quickly as possible within the time frame. Sounds good. All right. Why don't we dive right on in? All right, then. So the first one is done by Goose Evil. No, Goose Devil or Goose Evil. Um, and it is historic the people in three words. Given three one-word clues, can you name the historically famous people with the in their names? All right, let's start. Modernization seaports Russia. And these are some of the names. If we're not sure, we can skip. It's probably Catherine the Great. Though. Probably. No. All right. Macedonia, Hellenization general. Would that be Alexander the Great? Uh, or am I, should we skip? Oh, my goodness. Let's skip. Okay. Tsar Moscow Troubles. That's, uh, how did we four up? That was probably, like, oh, Peter. Peter the Great, right? Peter the Great? No. Oh. Empress Russia Culture. That's, That's Catherine. Catherine the Great. Author Vesuvius Encyclop Encyclopedia. Okay. Uh, Let me see. Uh, hmm. I don't know that one. Should we skip? Yeah, I guess. Oh my god. Bonnie Rustler wanted. That's probably um Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid. Oh, yeah. Correct. Invader, tribal, barbarian. It's Attila the Hun. Attila the Hun. Yeah. Yes. Unidentified prostitutes, Whitechapel. That must be, um, where is he? Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. On the right. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Romanian Dracula, cruelty. That's Vlad the Impaler. Yes, exactly. Saint, beheaded, preacher, we John the Baptist. That. Yes. Scott, Braveheart, Independence. We know that. I know. What's the name, though? As William the Conqueror. Okay. Oh, no. But his name is William, too, isn't it? I don't know. Wait, let me see. Too many over the well, place. we got to skip. Anyways. Caliphate, Ottoman, Sultan. Probably Suleiman the Magnificent. Correct. Anglo-Saxon, Wessex, King. Um, Was that Edward? Oh, no, it was probably Richard Lionheart. Richard Lionheart? No. <gasps> Hastings, Normandy, 1066. Let's skip for now. Yes. Prussia, Hohen Hohenzollern, and Enlightenment. We got 30 seconds. Okay, that's, um, I don't know, skip it. All right. Greenland, Eric Norseman. Eric the Red. Eric the Red. Underboss, Gambino, Rat. Um, yeah, skip it. NFL, Bookmaker, Vegas. Semi, Semi the Bull? No. Bowery Gaines, New York. Kill the Butcher. Crusader, Saladin, Acre. Um, no. Macedonia, Alexander the Great. Yes. Author, Vesuvian, and say, ah. Ah. No, hey, not bad, not bad. 74% is average. We, we got 50%. 50 so hey, well. you know what? I think that was pretty hard, honestly. Was hard, yeah. Well, let's see uh, which ones we got wrong. Yep. Edward the Confessor was Anglo-Saxon, Wessex King. Mm -hmm. Frederick the Great was oh, Prussia. Yeah, Frederick. Uh, Ivan the Terrible is Tsar, mm -hmm. Moscow, Troubles. Jimmy the Greek, NFL, Bookmaker, Vegas. Mm -hmm. Peter the Great was Modernization. Right. Uh, Pliny the Elder was Author. 
Vesuvius Encyclopedia, Richard Lionheart oh, Crusader, no. uh, Robert the Bruce, Scott Braveheart Independence, Sammy the Bull, Underboss Gambino Rat, and William the Conqueror was Hastings Normandy 1066. Okay, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> and now you know too. All right, let's move on to the next quiz. All right, so this is done by History Lover, and it's World History A to Z. Can you name the world history trivia from A to Z? So I'm assuming the answers are going to be A, B, yes. whatever. So we're going to start from A, go work our way down to Z. We skip, we skip. Right. Sounds good? All right. A, civilization centered around Technoptitlan. Technoptitlan. Um, I have no idea. Yeah, let's skip that one. All right. Now. The liberator of much of South America. Oh, Aztecs. Aztecs is the first one. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, the Liberator of s much of South America. The Liberator. Um, Skip. Would be a Bolivar, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Damn, I'm good. Hannibal was a general for this anti Rome city. Spain? It's not a city. Oh, city, right. Barcelona? No. no. Um, Alexandria, maybe? No. It's a D. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's skip it. Skip. This. An African nation that successfully resisted European imperialism. Uh, e. Yeah, that's um, Egypt? Eritrea. Or... Eritrea? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to spell that. Eritrea. There we go. Eritrea. No, Egypt. So, uh, Egypt then? Even though they kind of were British? Nope, neither. Because they were British. Um, um, with an E. Mm. I'm going to skip. The assassination of this man led to World War I. Franz Ferdinand? Yes, try East Timor. Okay. East, like that? I want to say it's spelled with an I. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, whatever. G, first great Mongol ruler. Uh, Genghis Khan. Uh, I can't spell. Is that right? No. <laughs> ah, there we go. Thank you. Oops. Yes. Amorite leader famous for his code of laws. H. No idea. I. Civilization centered in Andes Mountain. Incas. Incas. Incan. Okay. Roman leader killed by Brutus. J. Julius Caesar. Uh, the Shakespeare of Sanskrit. K. Quran. Nope. Skip? Yeah. Okay, L. Nailed 95 thesis starting the Protestant Reformation. Luder? Okay. Uh, Mansa Musa was the wealthy ruler of this African empire. M. Um, Madagascar? No. Uh, you can try, but it's probably something else. Um, Think about it. We'll skip. N, French leader who conquered much of Europe, Napoleon. Am I not spelling it right? Try now? Mali. Mali? Mm -hmm. Like that? No, Mali. M-A-L-I. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, group that finally defeated the Byzantine Empire. The Osmanian, the Osmanians, no? With an S? No. Second letter is an S. Oh. No. Osmonds. It's like the Lemurian. Yes. <laughs> we'll skip it for now. Greek philosophy. Oh, no, you call it the Ottoman. Oh, Empire. the Ottoman Empire. Yes. That's it. Well, it's not working. Uh, we'll skip for now. Uh, P. Greek philosopher and student of Socrates, Plato. Oh, yes. uh, Q. Dynasty during which the Terracotta army was made. 
Kong Dynasty, is it? Uh... Skip it for now. R, cultural movement beginning in Florence, Italy. The Romans? No, the... The cultural movement. The R... Skip. It's not, it's not the Reformation. No. Uh, S. Nickname for Louis the Fourteenth of France. Some, some Skip T. Title held by the rulers of Russia prior to uh, Tsar. Uh, Pope who called for the Crusades. Ah, time's up. All right. So C. Some king. I told you. Why didn't you type it? I didn't finish it. I just typed sun. All right. So 11 out of 26. Darn it. I spelt it wrong. 60, 42% for us. Hey, you know what? It was, it's hard because you're having to read. All right. So let's go through the answers. C, Hannibal uh, was Carthage. Oh, yeah. Leonardo da Vinci was the famous painter of the Mona Lisa. Did we skip that one? Yeah, I think we did. Oh. E, Ethiopia, H, Hammurabi, K, Kalidasa, O, the Ottoman Air Empire, yeah. Q, the king, you were right. Oh, Renaissance. The Renaissance, the Sun King, and we didn't make it to the end. But I'll take the blame on that one. It was my <laughs> spelling, but uh, we did it's pretty okay. good. Yeah, so good. actually, you know what? Let's do the proper average now with the ones we would have gotten which were uh, the Ottoman Empire and the Kin the Sun King. and the Sun King. So that would give us an extra three points. So that's 14 out of 26. What percentage is that? Yeah, it's a bit higher. It's like 58. There we go. We're better. All <laughs> right. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So round two of it. Yeah. So this is, again, history lover, okay. world history A to Z. We're going to be faster. So let's start. A, the racial segregation system used by South Africa from 48 to 93. What is it? I want to say apartheid. Okay. Correct. Uh, B, Japanese code of the sum samurai. I don't know what they mean by code. Let's skip it. Okay. C, well-known site for the Mayan civilization. C. Uh, Machu Picchu. It starts with a C. Um... Cusco. Not Costco. <laughs> Cusco. Am I spelling it wrong? Uh, probably. Cusco, Peru. I was right. Okay. Yeah, right. maybe then that's something. Else. D, author of the Divine Comedy. Uh, no. E, the papal power was used by Rome and Constantinople resulting in the Great Schism. Yeah. F, system of government in medieval Europe. Uh, like, um, oh, how do you call that? Imperialism, no? But it's an F. Feudalism? Oh yeah, you're right. G, legendary knot that Alexander the Great cut. Ah. Uh, yeah, we know that. Skip it. <laughs> okay, H. Chinese dynasty during which trade along the Silk Road flourished. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the Han oh, you're dynasty. Good. Honesty. I. Imaginary line that divided Europe during the Cold War. Uh, the uh, uh, Iron Curtain. Ah, yes. Iron Curtain. Iron Curtain. J. Greatest Byzantine Emperor. I don't know. All right, K. Okay. Current capital city of the Dnieper that saw the January uprising in 1918. Kiev. Oh, Kiev. Got it. Uh, L, leader of the Bolshevik. Uh, M, well-known site for the Incan uh, civilization. Thank you. That's it, right? Yeah, that's not how you'd spell. Oh, my God. I hate that it has to be accurate spelling. 
Please waste so much time. Relax, baby. No, relax. no, no, no. And men who built the Haining Gardens of Babylon. Don't know. Oh, Lord Protector of England, Scotland, and Ireland. William. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh. Um, no. Okay. P, leader of Athens during the Pel Peloponnesian. Peloponnesian War. Yeah. Okay. Q, the Seven Years Battle where Montcalm and Wolf died. I have no idea. Great. R, uh, leader of the Reign of Terror during the French Revolution. Yeah. S, leader of the Muslims during the King's Crusade. Sultan? Sultan what? Salazar? No. T, first female Prime Minister of the UK. Uh, Thatcher. Uh, you, organization that replaced the League of Nations, United Nations. Yes. Okay, you're done. Okay, thank you. Uh, old Hindu scriptures, V. Yeah. I know it, but I don't. W, where Napoleon was defeated for the last Waterloo. time. Uh, the cause of tensions between France and the U.S. lean to the quasi-war, X. No idea. Why? Mongol dynasty in China. Yang. No. Nope. Uh, okay. Last major battle of the Second Punic War. Z. No idea. Okay. All right. Japanese code of the samurai. I don't know what they mean. Well known site for the Mayan civilization. The papal power was used by Rome and Constantinople. Legendary knot that Alexander the Great cut. Gothic. I know it's like um. Ah. Oh. See, that's the translation there. Yeah, I, know, I, know. I know it in German. Oh my gosh. I know it in well, German. Well, time's that, up. That sucks. All right, let's go. A Gordian, yeah, that's it in English. Oh, Ugh. Right. So, Bushido. Oh, yeah, Bushido. Chitsun Itza. Okay, whatever. Dante Alighieri. Oh, yeah, Dante. Excommunication. Ah, uh, okay. Gordian Knot. Ah, uh, we could have known all that. Justinian. Nebuchadnezzar. Course, I should have known that. Pure and Sal See, Saladin, not Salazar. Ah, Oliver Cromwell, Pericles, Quebec. I thought of Quebec for uh, some reason, but I didn't do it. Robespierre, yeah. Saladin, yeah, Vedas, okay. XYZ. Yeah, we could have, could have um, done more. It's okay. okay, not bad. You know what? 10 out of 26 yep. could have been worse. Is there another one? We've got some more to do. Okay. Um, also, I should have said this at the beginning. Sam's first language is not English. Mm -hmm. It is German slash Swiss German. So there's a translation problem sometimes. Exactly. But uh, that's not an excuse. <laughs> but it is. All right. So history as we heard it by Hegeman. Can you name the speakers from the audio oh clips? Let's see how this works. Okay. Uh, play. What, what do I do? So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear itself. I have never been. Um... The only thing we have to fear is fear. <laughs> <laughs> is that um, God, Prime Minister of the UK. Winston Churchill. Thank you. <laughs> Churchill. I spelt it right. It's not working. No. All right. Moving on. A quitter. To leave office before my term is completed is a part of every instinct in my body. We regard the agreement signed last night and the Anglo German naval agreement as symbolic of the desire of our two peoples never to go to war with one another again. Sorry, it people. shall be the policy of this nation to regard any... I gotta pause it. Ronald Reagan. I spelt it right. Maybe then it's not Ronald Reagan. <laughs> All right, let's go back to 24 seconds. We regard the agreement signed last night and the Anglo-German naval agreement as symbolic of the desire of our two peoples never to go to war with one another again. again! 
Is that, is that Churchill? It shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet Union. No, it won't skip. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down no, this a... wall. Yes. Oh my God, what's his name? Uh, that's Reagan. And I figured that one out. It's Nixon. A few hours ago, I discharged my last duty as king and emperor. Emperor? Uh, today we've had a national tragedy. No. Yeah, you gotta skip that later. The next one is George Bush. Okay. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. Against the British Empire and its Commonwealth, last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was our finest hour. Mm -hmm. Aviation, this young modern giant, exemplifies the possible relationship of women and the creation of science. That's one small step for man. You can be sure that Batista is or will be the last dictator of Cuba. Um, is that um, spoke of Cuba? Uh, what's his name? Castro. Yes. Fidel. No. No e. No e at the end. No. That old soldiers never die. They just fade away. We place our vision of a new constitutional order for South Africa on the table. Let us conquer us. Prescribe it to the Congo. We speak as fellow citizens to heal the wounds of the past. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The world will note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, a military base. I don't know how to spell that. Double P. Oppenheimer. No. We won the race of discovery against the Germans. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war, in order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young Americans. We who have fought he against part, you. The, <laughs> he was part. He was part of it. Yeah, but that was an American. He, he was American too. Albert Einstein. Yeah, he he, he migrated. Palestinians, was we yeah. say to you today, in a loud and a clear voice, enough of blood and tears. Enough. From Dallas, Texas, the flash apparently official. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. I'm only going to talk to you. Just... Uh, what was the, uh, the name of the King? Um, CNN reporter? Yeah, Larry King. Larry King. No. Moving on. Just for a minute or so this evening, because I am... Some very sad news for all of you, and I think uh, sad news for all of our fellow citizens and people who love.
peace all over the world. And that is that Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis. Uh, here's the way we've had a problem. We've had a main beep on the I regard myself as a soldier, though a soldier of peace. I know the value of discipline and truth. I must tell the House that the Falkland Islands and their dependencies remain British territory. No aggression and no invasion can alter that simple fact. Simultaneously, however, a new perilous situation has been created whose shadow is upon us continually. One cannot defend oneself effectively anymore. Now, yes. Go ahead. A D E. Yeah. M. Yeah. A. U. E R. No. Today and today, our theaters in jam with newspapermen and hundreds of the dogs and moral of the nation. And these veterans agree with me that the city never has witnessed the excitement stirred by these youngsters from Liverpool who call themselves the Beatles. Now, tonight, you're going to twice be entertained by them. Well, let's get up. Yeah, guess. Wow. All right. Franklin D. Roosevelt. That was Albert Einstein. Neville Chamberlain. I have no idea who that is either. Nope. Edward oh. Edward the Third. Winston I should, Churchill. I heard her talk about the aviation thing, and I thought oh, it was Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart. Like, oh. Douglas MacArthur. I don't know who that is. Harry S. Truman. Witzak Robin. Yeah. Walter Cronkite. Right. Robert oh. F. Kennedy. I knew Walter Cronkite. I That's knew a Kennedy was the one that announced Martin Luther, yeah, yeah. but I wasn't sure which one. Uh, James Lovell, Mohandas Gandhi, uh, Albert Einstein, yeah, Ed Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, okay. All right. Not bad. Yeah. Why don't we move on to our final sure. quiz? All right. So this is done by Aprili. Journey through history. Can you answer the specific questions provided with each image in this journey through history? All right. Let's start. Name the early prehistoric period depicted here. The ice, right? No, the blank age. The Jurassic, prehistoric? Try it. Now, for prehistoric was not named Jurassic. It's one R. But uh, two S. Jurassic. Cretaceous. I'm not much of a help because I don't know the different. Well, let's skip it. English, honestly. Uh, the name of the ancient Northern African Empire, which includes Egypt. several. The Egypt. Correct. Uh, name the monument built. The Great Pyramid uh, of Pisa. No. Gezi. Okay. I don't know how to spell G -E it. G-E. Yeah. Set H-I. No. Uh, Pisa. Pisa is the leaning tower. Base. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, name the ancient plaza whose origins trace to the Roman Empire. <laughs> no, it's the the Forum. Colosseum. The Forum. Okay. Name the ancient Greek Acropolis. With an I. Yes. There we go. Uh, name the practice involving the attempt to transform base metals into gold. Alchem. Yes. Alchem. Yes. Name the political institute of Blood. The, the Roman yes. Senate. Name the empire led by Attila, the blank empire. Johannes. The, Hun Hanic, the yes. Hunnic Empire. Name the type of religion-based habitation. Reformation. Uh, I know it's the monks. What's the question again? Name the type of religion-based habitation. Oh, it's in, um, where do they live? Uh, I know the word. In a, in a monastery. Yes. That's how it's spelled. Yes. There we go. 
Name the emperor being crowned by Pope Leo III in the year 800. I'm Alexander, dude. <laughs> Skip it for now. Name the famous Norse Viking who landed in North America. It's over to see. It's Leaf. Oh, something. Life Erickson. Okay. Name the city depicted in June, July, 1099 during the First Crusade, the Siege of Jerusalem. Name the historical style of competition popular in the Middle Ages. Uh, that's the jousting. Jav no, just it was just. I don't know what it's called in English. Uh, just skip it then. Skip. Name the medieval pandemic the Blank Death, the Black yes. Death. Name the famous inventor of mechanical movable type printing, Johannes. Gutenberg. Yep. Uh, name the year in which Columbus first landed in the New World. 1491. I'm bad, I'm bad with... 1492. 92. Name the document posted by Martin Luther in 1517. The 95... Phases. 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 Okay. Name the traditional occupation. Locksmith. Uh, Blacksmith. 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 Name the trading company founded in 1602, the Blank East Indian Company. The West East Indian Company, isn't it? Nope. No, is it the Great? Oh, I know that. Um, Skip it? No. The, um... Oh, shit, hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Just skip it. Okay. No, the Royal East India Company, obviously. No. Nope. What? Skipping. Yes. Name either war which ended with the Peace of Westphalia in 1648. The Hundred Years' War. Or the Thirty. The Thirty Years' War. Name the 18th century artistic style of this image, a.k.a. late Baroque. Uh, Coco? Rococo? Yeah, yeah, Rococo, Rococo, that's it. Nice. Name the invention first patented in 1769, the blank engine. Steam? Yeah. Name the revolution in 1789, French, French Revolution. Name the author of Faust, shown with Frederick Schiller in... G-O-E-T-H-E. Okay. Uh, name the canal depicted in its inauguration on November 17th, 1869. The Blank Canal. I want to say it, but that's not, that's not possible. The Suez Canal. Yep. Oh, it is. Name the year in which men were marching at the start of World War I. Uh, 1914. Yep. Back to the beginning. Name the early prehistoric period depicted here. The blank age. The new age. The, the stone age. Stone age. Okay. Name the emperor being crowned by Pope Leo III. Alexander the Great. No. Skipping it. Name the historical style of competition popular in the Middle Ages. Just look up. Look it up. How it's spelled, like spelling at least. Uh, jousting. Any wood, steel, concrete beam set parallel. Wall. Well, it's not helping. Dueling. Uh, medieval. Middle age competition. No, 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 wait. Um, I know that. Ugh. It's not javelin. No, it's go could you go back to the question, please? Pop competition in the Middle Ages. 
Just skip it. I know it's technically, but... Name the trading company, the blank East oh, Indian. I know this one as well. Um... <sighs> the Royal... The... the United? No. Skip. The British? The um, colonial. Okay. Uh, I should know this one. Moving on. We're back to this. Should yeah. we give up? Yeah, I guess. 23 out of 26. 88%. We did better than the yeah, average. You know what? This is our redeem redemption. Yeah. Charlemagne has uh, been crowned. Yeah, whatever. Well, Jousting. jousting. Uh, I wasn't spelling it right. Jousting. I knew it was jousting. God, I'm pissed. Dutch East Indian Company. Gotcha. So, uh, not bad. I'd say we did pretty good, though, overall. Mm -hmm. All right, then. And there you have it. That was just some historical mm -hmm. questions. How do you think we did overall? I think as a team, we did pretty well. You I knew some so. stuff I didn't know. I knew some stuff you didn't know. So I would agree. It was actually perfect. I would say Sam knew more than I did, though. Yeah. And uh, definitely he helped with some of that spelling because uh, <laughs> I'm not a great speller. But uh, I think overall we did well. And let us know down below how well you think you did or what you ended up doing. And uh, until next time, I hope you have a lovely day. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.